Our next guests have a huge fan following. And much like a previous guest, I think I might be fired if I didn't bring in my colleague, Jean Marie Nevetta, to join us for this interview. Come on back, Jean Marie. Live long and prosper, Liz. I'm sorry, you got a costume change. That's as much as you'll care. It seemed appropriate to celebrate the Star Trek universe. <laughs> it is all yours, my friend. The Star Trek universe has always been about inclusion, but it wasn't until Star Trek Discovery that we got actual out queer characters. And to talk about that today, we have Anthony Rapp and Wilson Cruz. Thank you so much for being here. We're really excited to talk to you. And the first thing that I wanted to know is, as both out gay actors, what has having these roles meant to you? And what has this visibility meant for the entire conversation about inclusion? For me, it's it's so many levels. Uh, one is that I've not only been out and queer and proud for a long time, like early 90s, um, but I've also been a big nerd for pretty much my whole life. So the combination of all those factors. And then uh, one of my very best friends is also a big nerd and also queer and has been a huge Star Trek fan in particular. And he had shared with me over the years how much of the fandom, uh, how much of a Venn diagram there is in the Star Trek fandom of queer people and Star Trek fans, and that they had been hungering for this sort of representation. And to meet so many fans from around the world, either in person at conventions or through the interwebs, um, and the, the response that they've given us has been uh, more enthusiastic and welcoming than I could have ever hoped for. And Wilson? Um, there's something really beautiful to me about these two characters, now four characters, now five characters actually, um, on the show who, are, who identify as LGBTQ um, and are part of, the, uh, part of this team that season after season joins together with the rest of their family uh, to save the world. And the message that that, that sends to LGBTQ people all around the world, that not only are you valued and that you are seen, but that we need you, that we can't save the world without you. And so to give that to um, a fan base that like Anthony has, has said, uh, has hungered for it for you know, over 50 years now, to be the couple that brings that to them is, humbling and, and overwhelming at the same time. And, and now that we, we, have the, we have created, these characters have created this chosen family um, with our, our non-binary and trans uh, kids um, who happen to be in love, um, we get to send this larger message about family and about how to create family and what chosen families are and fostering um, children and what that means to you as an adult. And, so in many ways, it's, um, it's been very cathartic and I'm very proud. Thank you, uh, thank you. And I think that's so beautiful. I'm, I'm gonna keep thinking about this as a healing thing and I'm not gonna let go of the um, Venn diagram of queer fans of Star Trek and the overlapping. That's gonna stick with me for a while. Do you have any messages of support that you'd like to share with people parenting LGBTQ people today? I think the thing that I want parents to know is that you're saving lives by embracing and supporting and loving your LGBTQ children. You are staving off trauma that so many generations have experienced by the rejection that they felt from their families. Um, and you are changing the way that we see parents and parents of LGBTQ people. Um, and you're modeling for an entire culture, the way that every parent should treat their child with unconditional love um, and the knowledge that they are accepted exactly as they are. Um, as someone who uh, found that later in life, um, it's incredibly moving to me to see that. And so I'm personally grateful for all of the love that you show. Uh, I would say that to, when I think of parenting, um, one of the things that's most important is that the child feel seen and known and safe to be themselves. And uh, your presence as a part of this organization tells me that you are parents who take that very, very much to heart. And that gives me hope for yourselves and for your children. 
and on behalf of all of us queer folks who have grown up many, many varied situations with our parents. Um, I was pretty lucky myself, but I do have friends who weren't so lucky in terms of how they were treated by their parents when they came out. Um, thank you. Wilson Cruz, Anthony Rapp, thank you so much for everything that you're doing for us out there in the queer universe and um, live long and prosper. You too, live long and prosper.